What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, an interrogation video has hit the internet of YSL Woody cooperating with the authorities and come to find out he has been a confidential and Forming for the Atlanta Police Department for 11 years and he's in the video telling all types of information even to the point of begging them to let him give them information. Wack 100 speaks on YSL Woody and he says that the reason why a lot of these guys end up cooperating is because number one they're afraid to go to prison and ultimately they are afraid to die. It is interesting. I'm gonna let y'all get to it. Shout out to Wack 100. Shout out to 100 ENT. This is good. Radio, let's go. Are you talking about somebody else telling? Yeah, it's old Woody. It's my man, bro. Y'all ain't years. seen nothing. Bro, look, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Nigga, watch when the trial starts. I told y'all the 28. I said at least. 12 to 18 gonna tell. He been an informant for 11 years, huh? Bro, why you think I tell you? Bro, I swear to God, you will never see a nigga around me unless we on tour for no more than three days straight at a time. It'll never happen. Makes sense now. It'll never, you would never gonna see no nigga around whack for more than 72 hours straight unless we on a tour bus. Straight up. Boy, I ain't saying sense. I'm going to shake you, but you ain't going to be around me. By the time you see me again, the whole scenery going to be different. And after them three days, by the time you see me again, the whole scenery, they're going to get tired of paying you with me. And you, any nigga go tell you, you're not going to be, I'm not going to the studio three days straight in a row. It ain't going to happen. You ain't going to catch whack doing, I'm not going to the same house three days straight in a row. It's not gonna happen. That's why I be telling these little niggas, man, you little niggas ain't sophisticated enough. You ain't grimy enough to fuck with me. Your mind don't even work right. That's why I don't be wanting to trip because I get on these niggas and I, you know, I get to entertaining my evil. They simple. All these niggas is simple, bro. All of them is simple. They got the same shit, the same pattern, the same drug nigga they buy they shit from, the same studio go to, the same bitches. The same niggas. These niggas ain't ready to die about these niggas. You kept one of these niggas, put that F in up under that pressure point up on his jawline, call him and text him and tell him what it be now, nigga. And they gonna do it. They ain't ready to die about it. Straight up. Soft spot of the jawline. And not real, they ain't ready to die. I'm telling you, they looked apart. 11 years ago, dude got put in the trick bag. Mm hmm He got caught doing something or something. And he been working ever since. He one of them niggas. He went from working to stay out to working on payroll. I keep telling these niggas, these niggas is only tough when they playing tough. When it's time to be tough, they ain't tough. Straight up. It's easy for a nigga who in the studio, getting on the jet, you know, on the tour bus. Yeah, nigga, I'm with you, nigga. Do or die, nigga. I'm with you, nigga, for life. Yeah, I'm with you. He getting his little up on the club for the little goofy bitches who trying to get to the artist. I'm with you for life. All right. Let this shit get real. Door kicked in 2 o'clock in the morning. A pistol in your mouth. Your two front teeth knocked out. Look, nigga, you ain't the nigga we want, but we know we know you know where the nigga at. Either we're going to leave your thought on your pillow, nigga, or you're going to give us what we want. Nigga. Which one is it? He going to get out. He going to get out. Monster, when the boogeyman in front of you, and you scared of the dark, you gonna get out. And scared of the dark ain't the room with the lights off. You scared to go to that next life. You scared. Mm -hmm. Scared to die. You scared to die, nigga. That's why I tell a lot of these niggas, man, you niggas ain't willing to die by what you talking about. Leave me alone, bro. Trust me, I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna jump. Niggas gonna say, damn, man, I nigga had all that go. Nigga, leave me alone. That is my weakness. I know what my weakness is. When that fuse go, nigga, I'm going to entertain my evil. And it's going to be that. I ain't tripping. My nigga at 15, I told my mama, mama, I ain't going to see 18. I love you every day till then. I'm not going to see 18. I'll be 46 and 8. I don't give a f 
about none of that. If it come, it come. I didn't beat the odds already, nigga. I didn't beat it. Put my kids through school. I, I can let my leave everybody filthy rich. But nigga, we gonna go. Leave me alone. Them niggas like that ain't gonna go. I'm telling you, they ain't, they not gonna go. That nigga's gonna tell. <laughs> That nigga told. And he did tell in classic fashion, man. He even gave them information about a murder that Young Thug wanted to happen. Apparently, the dude is somebody that's been beefing with YSL for a minute. He said that Young Thug wanted him dead, and he was trying to convince them to let him out, and he was going to tell them where the murder was going to happen so that they can catch them in the act. And apparently, the murder was supposed to happen the same day of this investigation. Listen to YSL Woody snitching to the investigators. Let's get to it. I'm cool. How can I help my friend? Yes, I'm missing. Like I said, we can't know where I'm cool. I can't make it any clearer. So that's this point. No, it's not pointless. Um, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll communicate. Can what I'm saying is, I can't offer you anything. Investigator Flores can't offer you anything. We can let the district attorney's office know and down there that you were cooperative. The information I had, they they want to hear to right now. I mean, we can pass it to them. You say you pass it to them. I'll tell you something will happen today. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Somebody's supposed to be killed tonight. Who? You know who. I don't know. I can tell y'all this much right here. What? I know the people are gonna go do it. I can, I can, I can get the time when they gonna go do it. So y'all can kiss me in the head. I know. Who's the target? Who I guess? I mean, Lucci's locked up. Shit, okay. So how? So y'all always been tight. Who? Kill. Who's always been tight? Share Kill. I know. He's, he's, he's this man. He's obsessed with this guy. He won. This is just, this is much as I can say. Cause y'all got to tell Wait, you're, you're like, ooh, I'm going to get lost. You said, who, who's tight with Shell? Nigga, no, your friend's not here. Nobody can hear you. Like, friend's not here. We moved him from yeah, but The person y'all just think that I didn't tell me anything. He won't. Him. He want him as bad. So you're talking about Jeffrey? 11 years. 11 years. Bro, let me tell you something. It's about 10 of them niggas like that right round Thug, bro. He know. He know. Thug ain't even fighting. He fighting for a date, bro. He fighting for them people don't tell him he got life. Because that lady trying to use him as a motherfucking example. The fact that she let niggas go that she can give 10, 15, 20 years, look, we gonna zero out your time. You just say this about him. That's let insane. you know. Yeah, bro. She didn't let go niggas for damn near 75 years of prison time. Just for a statement on him. Mm, they got you. You think she trying to get that nigga 20? Hell no. Nah. She could have came out better getting 10 niggas 15. She want to get that nigga. She want to get that nigga that thing, bro. The yeah. only discrepancy Thug got, and I probably wouldn't use it. If I was Thug, I'd be gearing myself to do five years. I wouldn't say nothing. Is the fact that, that she used to represent a nigga that's on his squad that never been charged. If he can prove that that nigga gave her information while he, she was his defense attorney and she used any of that information for this, he got grounds for it. Uh, I wouldn't even f with it right now. I save it. That that'll be my that'll be my last my shot. That'll be my kill shot for my appeal. Cause if you use it now and it ain't strong enough, they'll fight it. They'll fight it. Hopefully within that five years, she gets some other shit on against her, her credibility up, then you come with that. Mm-hmm. Geronimo Pratt style. Yeah, see now's when you gotta you gotta strengthen your gangster. You know, it's hard, bro, to accept the fact I'm going to do another 5 to 10 because that's what it's going to take to position me to get my freedom. It's a hard pill to swallow. And at one point in my life, I wasn't able to swallow it. But I've never been in that situation. You know, I was I was like, I graduated. 30 days juvenile hall, come back four months in camp, come back year in the camp, come back two years wide, come back six years in the penitentiary. So I was conditioned. Every time I went back, I didn't feel it. He ain't never had to do it. So you tell a nigga 30 something years old, look, nigga, you finna get, they're gonna give you life. But five to 10 into this shit, we coming back on the pill on grounds of this. Yeah, that nigga got to really condition his mind for that. But nigga told me right now, look, whack, you gotta go do five years 
your turn in time is June. Okay, cool. All right, let me look up. That's paid off. That's paid off. All right, move that that apartment building. That's bringing in this, 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 this. Yo, pay my insurance up for seven years. I'm not getting there, catch a stick it. Pay my life insurance up because they can't kill it because I'm in jail because what I got. Pay that up. What is that? 4000 a month. 4000 times seven years. Pay that up. Boom, 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 boom. All right, pull. Give, give me 10000 County jail, 10 on my books. Let's rock. I love y'all. Do y'all thing. Hit the yard. I got to get back to the bases. This power road. What we doing? And them niggas over there is telling. That is the streets. All you weird niggas talking about all this old motherfucking gangster shit and all this shit. I hope y'all paying attention. I hope y'all paying attention because all these niggas um, that we see, all these niggas we see was talking about all this gangster shit, whoop whoop this, all this shit, YSL to the death of me and all this shit. These niggas is telling. Hey. And your homies gonna do the same to you, nigga. They telling. That's my thing. Niggas be right up under you. The said they've been investigating thugs since 2010, bro. He been an informant for 11 years. They say 2012, and he been in there for 11 years. So what that what that tell you, huh? Hey, listen, my nigga. I love nephew to death. I know the man personally. He didn't did things for me for free. I, I, I wish don't nothing come of it. But unfortunately, I'm looking at this situation, my nigga, and, and, and uh, it don't look good at all. All right, we're going to leave it right there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 says that these guys are cooperating in the streets because they're not really down. They're not really to die about what they're talking about. They're only there for the good times. They're fair-weather cooperants. They're fair-weather friends. When it gets rough, when it gets dark, when the guns are on you or when the light is on you, when the investigators are talking to you, you're not going to hold down your camp. You're not going to hold down your clique. You're not going to hold down your community when it comes down to going to prison a lot of people aren't willing to go to jail a lot of people don't want to go to prison a lot of people are just in this thing just to be cool just to get the girls just to get the clout just to get the fame and everything else that comes along with being a street dude but they don't want to go to the penitentiary and they don't want to die and i can agree with that right there this is why i preach the streets are dead listen man find you something legal to do because this is the end of the map right here this is the end of the road ultimately everyone is going to eventually face some type of time ultimately someone is eventually going to face some type of snitching allegation or somebody's going to tell on you at some point especially if you're wilding out in the community if you're a shooter if you're a drug dealer if you're a certified gangster somebody knows about your information and they're going to be willing to barter your freedom for theirs that's just what they're going to do and this is what's going on in the streets today and this is what's going on in this YSL case, man. Listen, YSL Woody said he told Young Thug in this interrogation, he told the investigators, he told Young Thug that if you keep wilding out like this, the feds are going to get you. He said that Young Thug started laughing and said, I know. So maybe Young Thug knows that this is his fate. Maybe Young Thug is like, hey, this is what comes with the life. I'm going to go down. I'm not talking on nobody. I'm not snitching on nobody. I'm not telling no information on nobody. And they're not even going to give Thug a deal anyway. But but just because everybody else is telling, that doesn't mean Thug is going to turn around and talk. Maybe he's accepted his fate, but everybody's not willing to do that, family. And this is what's going on right here, right now. This dude right here, YSL Woody, if you look at that interrogation interview, he didn't even like Thug. He didn't like being around Thug. He thought Thug was stupid. He talked junk about Thug and he talked junk about 21 Savage in this interview. He said that 21 Savage and Thug are idiots and said that they're stupid to be out here thugging, being on some gangster stuff, considering the fact that they are rich. He said that these dudes that they got around them, them young shooters, allegedly, that they got around him, that young Thug got around him, he said those young shooters, they're broke. They ain't got no money. He even spoke about how he talks to some of those young shooters and say, why you doing all of this for him you ain't getting no money you're broke so young thug allegedly ain't even feeding his wolves family listen the streets don't love you the streets is dead find something else to do with your life clear up yourself get yourself together change your circle of friends because if you don't do that man you can find yourself in this very situation that they are facing right here right now some people are guilty by association some people are locked up simply because they know thug some people are locked up because they think they know thug some people are being leaned on for information. Some people are being getting visited by the DA. This is crazy. This case right here, it has so many layers, man. And this needs to be a lesson for every person.
person, every man, every woman to tell your children, the girls and the boys, get your ass out them streets, find something legal to do. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. This has been Getty Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.